Hey there and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the entry rules in Naked Markets. And the entry rules can really speed up your backtesting because they allow you to take trades, set up the stop loss and take profits uh, just by clicking and dragging. So here's how you do it. First go to rules and then rule manager. And in this example, I'm going to create an entry rule that uh, when you go long, it places a stop loss below the last swing low and it's going to target the next swing high and then vice versa for the short side. So I'm going to start with the long side first. Uh, to get started, hit the new rule button in the lower left corner, uh, select entry. And then when you name these rules, it's easiest to name them uh, by the strategy and then the type of rule and then long or short. And you'll see why this is in a little bit. But in this case, I'm going to call this uh, swing and then uh, entry, and then this is gonna be the long. So I'll just do that. And this is the uh, entry rule. And it looks a little bit daunting because there are so many options, but the best place to start is at the order type. So double click on the order type button or the uh, box, and then you'll see the order types. You can do an instant order, you can do a buy or sell, and you can do a pending order with the stops and limits. So for this example, since this is your first uh, try at this, I'm gonna do the instant order buy and do okay. And the number of options gets smaller, which is nice. Uh, so now it's more manageable. So for this entry, we're gonna risk 1%, but we also have to put in a stop loss and take profit. So um, Naked Markets makes it easy to do this. So what I'm gonna do for this entry is I'm going to use um, I think they have, let's see, order information. No, I think it's price value. Okay, yeah, so if you go to price value under default rules, then you take the last swing low and you can just click on this and then drag it over to the stop loss. Once you drag that over, it'll give you some options on how you can configure that particular um, price value. Uh, I'm just going to keep the defaults for now and make it easy. So I'm just going to hit OK. And that's the stop loss. It's going to be the last swing low. And then the take profit is going to be the last swing high. So we're going to put that in there. And if you're wondering about these options here, the bar position is zero. So that's the current bar. If you put bar position one, that would be one bar back. Bar position two would be two bars back, etc. Uh, time frame is current, whatever. Uh, the time frame on that chart is same thing with the symbol uh, the count that's 200 bars or 200 candles back and that's uh, the space that it's going to use to look for the swing high now void bars means uh, once it finds a swing high how many bars uh, back do not interfere with that bar so if the swing high is here you want to have a bunch of space here right uh, same thing with the swing low. You want to have some space and not have all the bars put together uh, because that might not be a swing high. So we can just leave that as the defaults and you can tweak that later if you want to. So we'll just do that and then risk 1% per trade. Um, I'll save that rule. Okay, so now that's saved. And if you go under entry rules here, we can see that that is available there. Now, First, let's try this out and see how it works. So I'm going to go on this chart. I'm going to start the test. And okay, so this might be a good place to go long. So I'm going to close this up. Okay, so I'm going to open up the entry rules on the left side. Then I'm just going to drag and drop that rule onto the chart. And that creates what I was looking for. Uh, so it's a entry buy. And then there is a stop loss below the last swing low and it targets the next swing high. So we'll let that run and get stopped out. Okay. Now let's see if we can find another place to potentially do that. Uh, okay, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, is it gonna turn? No, it's gonna go down. Okay. Okay, so maybe there, right? So I, again, just drag and drop that onto the screen and it creates a, um, a new trade for me. And this has a really good risk to reward. So let's see what happens. Oh, stopped out again. Okay, so um, maybe we'll try that again here. So drag and drop, right? 
and see what happens. Okay, so getting stopped out. But the main point here is that the entry rule is working. So I'm going to flip back over to the uh, rule manager. You can just double click on one of the rules and it'll open the rule manager. And then I'm going to go to the entry rules. And Nike Marcus makes it really easy to just copy these rules over and just tweak a few things for the short side. So what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on the name of the rule. I'm going to clone the rule. It's going to create this copy here. Uh, so that's the new title of the uh, the rule. And then I'm going to right click again on the copied version and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it to the short. So that's why you want to put long and short at the end because that makes it easier to change. Okay, there we go. Now this is a short entry, right? So for the short entry, the stop loss is going to be the last swing high. So we have to flip these two things. So I'm going to go back into the price value. Um, the stop loss is going to be the last swing high. And the take profit is going to be the last swing low. Okay, and then we have to change this to a sell. And we're going to keep the lot size 1% risk. And that should be good. Okay, so I'm going to click Save Rule. Okay, now let's hop over to the chart and try that out. Um, so this might be a good place to go short. So I'm going to drag and drop the entry short. And it creates the uh, stop loss above, take profit below. I let it go. And no, get stopped out. Okay, so let's try for another one. Uh, maybe right there. Oops. Okay. Uh, it's setting it right in the right place, but we get stopped out. Uh, so let's try another one. I'm just testing this out to make sure that it's doing what I expected to do. So this could be a place to short. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, stopped out again. So we're in a pretty big uptrend here. Uh, that might actually be a good short. Let's see. Okay, so placing the stop up there, take profit over there. And no, stop that again. Okay, so this is working as expected. However, I'm just not picking the right trades. But um, this is working great. So I have a long and a short that I can just drag and drop onto the chart and it will enter a trade for me. It'll set up the take profit and the stop loss automatically based on the last swing high and swing low. Uh, so this is fantastic. It really beats having to put something in manually like this and then putting the stop loss up there and then the take profit down there, right? So this is a great way to speed up your back testing. So what we can start to do with these rules is add some complexity. Uh, so let's say for example, for the stop loss, we wanted to make the stop loss 10 pips away from the low or the high. Uh, so right now it's placing the stop loss exactly at the uh, swing high or swing low, but we want to give it a little bit of room to breathe, right? So uh, what we can do in this case is to create a core rule. So a core rule is something that uh, you can create. It's some logic that can be put into another rule, like an exit rule or an entry rule, and that will help you to uh, do some calculations in the background. So in order to do that, we can create a new core rule. So go to a new rule, create a core rule. And then this is going to be swing core and then long. OK, so for this rule, we want to add or subtract 10 pips to the high or the low. So let's do the long first. So long is going to be uh, let's see, price order or price value. So that's going to be the swing low, right? And then the stop loss is going to be 10 pips below that. So we're going to subtract 10 pips. So operators subtract and then go to price value pips. And then we're going to set that to 10. Okay, so that's the new core um, rule for the stop loss. So I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go back to the the swing entry. So the entry rule, uh, swing entry long. 
And then I'm going to replace this stop loss with my new core rule. So I'll put that here. And that's a new stop loss. And then if I double click that, it'll show me the calculation. And on these um, workspaces, you can drag them around, you can zoom in and out with the, um, the mouse wheel on your, on your mouse, or you can uh, do like a page up or page down on the mouse pad. So that's how you can see these things in more detail. But that's gonna be the stop loss now. So I'm gonna hit save on that. And then I'm gonna check if this works. So I'm gonna close this and then I'm gonna look for a long. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> maybe something around there. Uh, so I'm going to take the swing entry long, I'm going to put that on the chart, and then it does appear to be giving it some space there. So let's see. Okay, and uh, okay, I'm going to break. Okay, so maybe that could be a long, and this is the daily chart. So I'll put this on the charts um, right there and we can zoom in to like the one hour and see what's going on here uh, yeah so it does appear to be putting the uh, stop loss about 10 pips below so that is working out so we can just let this rip and see what happens all right so that's how you create more complexity. Now, if we're going to do that on the downside or uh, for the short, we can go into the rule again and then um, set up the core rule by copying the core rule. So we want to clone that rule, double click, and then uh, rename it to short. Okay. And then, uh, so this has to change to the last swing high, right? Because we're looking for a short. Okay, so I go into price value, last swing high, and then I'm gonna add 10 pips. So operators, add. Okay, so I'm gonna add 10 pips. I'm gonna save that rule. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the entry rule, and then I'm going to uh, edit the short and for the short I'm going to put in the swing core rule there and we can double check the formula uh, last swing high plus 10 pips okay save rule and then we can close that and then we'll look for a short okay maybe something around here Okay, maybe right there. So we'll put the swing entry short in there. Okay, uh, so yeah, it's putting the stop loss above there. And then let's drop down to lower time frame. And it is about 10 pips away. So that's working correctly. And we just let it rip. And it gets stopped up. Okay, so at least we know the rules work. And this is how you create entry rules. And it really speeds up the manual backtesting process. Later on, you can roll these entry rules into setup rules um, that will allow you to take trades off of these signals. So stay tuned for that. But that's all for the entry rules right now. Um, if you want to get naked markets, there is a link in the description below. That's my link. And you do get some bonuses if you buy through that link. So check that out. Uh, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get more videos like this. And thanks for watching.